Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of small intestinal obstruction. Recently we have got a lot of requests to make videos on intestinal obstruction. So get ready for a few cases. A middle-aged female patient came with abdominal pain, abdominal distension, and nausea and vomiting. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see a distended intestinal loop with high-frequency linear transducer. You can see the movement within this fluid-filled bowel loop. These fluids are moving forward and backward, known as to and fro flow. These are the bowel wall and you can see the gut signature is maintained here. And these are the valvular conventries indicating it as a small intestinal loop. Here is the curvilinear transducer view and you can see these distended bowel loops are having to and fro flow within. You also can see some ecogenic mural gas. So if you do an x-ray in this patient, you will get multiple air fluid level. Here is the picture of this fluid filled distended bowel loop with interluminal contents and ecogenic air. So, in summary, dilated small intestinal loops with to and fro appearance of interluminal contents are seen. Valvulic coniventries were seen indicating it as a small intestinal obstruction. There was luminal mural gas. So, this feature suggests it as a small intestinal obstruction. We see small intestinal loops to be distended when the diameter is more than 3 cm. Now, the take home message. In case of intestinal obstruction, don't forget to check the gut signature to exclude gangrenous change. It is a common thing that we miss in our regular intestinal obstruction ultrasound. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.